Uh, my, my name is Randy Lyle. I'm a San Diego native and I graduated from high school. Uh, I had applied for work with the California Division of Forestry and I was uh, selected and hired and went to work for them in the summer of uh, 1975. I worked for them for a total of 32 years. Uh, can be kind of broken into three 11 year chunks in round numbers. I did fire trucks for 11 years. I did male and female inmate hand crews for 11 years and I did various staff assignments for 11 years. I retired uh, at the age of 50 and I went to work then for the San Diego Gas and Electric Company. I went to work there in the veg management or vegetation management program and after 12 years with the San Diego Gas and Electric Company as manager of the fire coordination and climate adaptation group. Um, I went to work uh, for myself. I had some divine inspiration and direction and um, started a, a small consulting firm called uh, Wildfire Mitigation Strategies. Uh, I've been uh, three and a half years now out on my own working with electric utilities uh, all across the fire prone western U.S. I've authored or co-authored uh, several wildfire mitigation plans. So I'm pleased to be working with Alchera now and, and hope to bring um, the experience that, that I've briefly described, very briefly described for you. Uh, to bear on the ever-growing wildfire problem. And one of the things that, uh, that is so important, I think, to consider in this is if you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. The, whether, whether we can agree on, on climate change, the climate is certainly changing. And I have a couple of anecdotes to, to add to that and why I think that the machine learning and the artificial intelligence is so important and is, is likely to play such an important role in, going forward. During the course of my career, 1975 to 2007, I was on a total of six fires that exceeded 100,000 acres. Uh, back then, a 100,000 acre fire was a pretty big deal. Uh, nowadays, 100,000 acre fires, although they're still pretty large fires, they're, um, they're fairly commonplace. 100,000 acre fires is not the milestone uh, that it used to be. In addition to that, uh, if, if I look at well, if I go back to the, the Laguna fire that I spoke of, that started on September 25th, if memory serves, 1970. Um, the end of September was when the, the Santa Ana winds blew here in San Diego. And, and the end of September is when fire season and burning conditions and weather and fuel and everything all kind of came into alignment. Santa Ana's are blowing, are typically starting to blow uh, a bit later in the year than they used to. So over the, uh, was it 47 years, 40, uh, 48 years since 1975, I've seen the San Andes shift from end of September, yeah, they can still blow, but they don't blow like they used to, to the end of October. It's a four full week shift. And in my mind, that's a big deal. Um, and then we never got wind that blew all through the winter, but we're getting that now. Uh, we have east winds January, February, December, January, February. Uh, it is, was blown at my house uh, the last couple of days uh, here in March. So, climate change, human intrusion, and the new kinds of technologies and the new data sets that we have available and the new ways of thinking of data and the new ways we have of thinking of pulling all this together is one of the very, very exciting things that uh, FIND uh, are working with Alchera and uh, hope to be able to bring my experience into some of the solutions that I hope that we can collectively um, pull together.